image generation software powered by artificial intelligence, aka AI image generators, are becoming more and more powerful every day, and they can be extremely useful in a number of ways for your online business and marketing efforts, but only if you know how to write prompts for AI image generators effectively. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to write prompts for AI image generation using ChatGPT. My name's Alex. I'm a digital marketer and copywriter with Lover Fighter Writer. And if you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing, leaving a like and a comment, and share it with anyone who you think could benefit from watching it. Now, what we're looking at right here is Artspace AI. It is the main AI image generation software that I use, and it still has a lifetime deal ongoing, which means you can pay once and use it forever without having to pay again. So if you want to check that out, I will leave a link to it in the description. And the other thing I'm going to link to in the description is right here. This is my list of ChatGPT marketing prompts. There's only 20 on the list right now, but as I always say, it's actually much better to have fewer ChatGPT prompts to work with and understand how they work because then it's just easy to come up with additional follow-up prompts on the fly that are actually going to be useful. If you go out and you buy something that has like a thousand or 10,000 ChatGPT prompts in it, you're going to spend a lot more time looking through the prompts and trying to decide which one to use than you are actually using ChatGPT effectively. So the first link in the description in the pinned comment will go to a landing page where you can opt in to get this resource. Once you have access to this, I recommend going to file and make a copy, which will copy it to your Google Drive. Or if you prefer, you can go to download and then download it in whichever format you choose. And as I mentioned over here, I also recommend bookmarking this tab because I will be updating this regularly with new prompts. Whenever someone on my email list or one of my YouTube viewers requests a prompt, if it's a useful idea, I will add it to the list. And so if there's a specific type of prompt that you would like, then just let me know and I'll add it to the list here. And if you have the page bookmarked, then you can always just come back here and get the latest version. And the prompt that we're going to be working with today is number 18. It is, I call it image prompt helper. And basically, this is just a prompt that we're going to use in ChatGPT in order to create an optimized prompt, which we can then plug into Artspace in order to generate a high quality image. And as you can see, just from looking at my workspace here, you can generate a whole bunch of different types of images in Artspace and with other AI image generators. But the types of descriptors and the language that you use is very important in the quality of the image, as well as how accurate the image is to what you want. So as you can see, I do a lot of things with robots because I promote some AI software. I've also got this one with a detective. I've got some female superheroes because of a story that I'm working on and pictures of computers and people using computers. So let's do something a little bit differently today. We'll come over here to ChatGPT and I'm just going to paste the full command in right here. So you can see the full command is write a concise prompt for generating an image of image subject. Include commands to give the image a desired theme slash style. Theme. So this is pretty basic. You can add things to it if you want it to be a little bit more complex, but just by providing an image subject and any type of desired theme, we should be able to get a pretty high quality image pretty quickly. And I believe Black Friday is coming up or maybe it just passed. And of course, that's always a big marketing opportunity for a lot of businesses, especially e-commerce and SaaS, people that are companies that are putting out big deals for Black Friday. So let's imagine that we are creating a Black Friday sale graphic for a company that sells cookbooks. So I'm going to replace image subject with a Black Friday cookbook sale ad. And then we have include commands to give the image a, and maybe the cookbooks that we're promoting would be geared towards comfort food. And so we'll say comfort food and we'll use like an old west style theme because that would be relevant to comfort food. So we'll say include commands to give the image a old wild west theme promoting comfort food. All right, so that was weird. Uh, ChatGPT actually just generated an image for me instead of doing what I said. And I think typically when you're using the free version of ChatGPT, it won't do that because I don't think the free version of ChatGPT typically generates images. But what it will do is sometimes it'll give you temporary access to the full version of ChatGPT or to some features that they're testing. So I think that's probably what that was. But this is a decent little teachable moment because basically it tried to draw me an image and I just said, stop generating. And then I said, why are you drawing an image when I said, write a prompt? And it said, got it. Here's a concise prompt for generating that image. And then I tried it a few more times and it gave me some good prompts. So we're just going to take one of these 
and copy it and come over here to ArtSpace and paste it in there. And when you're dealing with a tool that generates both text and images, then it's important to say something like design or draw or paint. But because ArtSpace is a pure image generator, I can actually take that part out and just say a Black Friday sale ad for a comfort food cookbook in an old Wild West style. Use a rustic weathered wooden background Distressed Western, distressed Western fonts and vintage details like cowboy hats, wanted posters, and warm, hearty dish images to highlight comfort food recipes. So that's a pretty excellent prompt. And in ArtSpace, uh, and in ArtSpace, there's a number of different models that you can use. And within this model, which is my favorite one, Nova 2024, you have a different, you have a number of different presets, such as Fantasy, which is a great one. But I'm just going to go to no preset here and I'll tap the generate button. And while we're waiting for this one to load, let's use the same prompt in ChatGPT and in Grok, which is uh, Twitter or X's AI assistant. So here we'll say draw and then this and get it to draw me an image. And we'll come over to Grok and say draw the same thing again. And here we are back in ArtSpace AI. And so it doesn't do so well with text. As you can see, it screwed up some of the text, but that would be easy enough to cover up and replace with proper text. So I think I'm just going to move this down here and try this again. And over here in negative prompt, I'm going to say text and we'll just try generating it again. And while that's going, we'll take a look at ChatGPT, which uh, came up with something pretty nice. Uh, you can see it's doing a bit better job with the text, but there's still certainly some issues. Uh, I don't really understand why it included Uncle Sam in the wanted poster. That's kind of uh, confusing the issue, but that's pretty good as well. And then over here in Grok, it's a little bit less the style that I was looking for, but overall it's pretty decent. And this is definitely the kind of thing that I could see uh, a cooking brand posting on social media. So interestingly, it still included text this time. The negative prompts don't always work, but it actually did a really good job. It looks like it didn't really screw up any of the text in any significant way. So that one's quite decent. Uh, let's try one more time with this. And I'm gonna remove, and I should have done this last time, I'm gonna remove the part about the fonts because obviously if I'm telling it to use fonts and then telling it not to include text, that's a little bit confusing. And so we'll hit generate with this one and we'll take another stab at it with ChatGPT and Grok as well. So we have draw this and we'll add do not include text just to see if it will do that. Paste that there. Move back over to Grok and try the same thing. All right, so it seems like ArtSpace is struggling with not including text in this one. I think it's probably because I told it to make an ad and it knows that ads should include text. But I do want to point out that this text is actually very easy to cover up or to remove. So if you put this into Photoshop or Canva or any other design app, you would very easily be able to copy the color and then just cover that up and put the text that you actually want in it. And you can see when I make my YouTube thumbnails, a lot of these like this one and this one, uh, these are images that I create to make YouTube thumbnails. And I typically generate them without text. And then I add the text myself afterwards, because even though some of these tools can do a pretty good job, at least at times with adding text, you're never going to have as much customization as you would if you did it yourself. And so it looks like ChatGPT also is struggling with not adding text. This is not even close to as good as the first one it did. And you can see it's telling me that I, re that I reached my image creation limit. So I was right, it was giving me temporary access to this feature. And if we come back over to Grok, it also is struggling with not including text. So I do think that this has something to do with the fact that I'm calling it an ad. So let's try one more time. We'll change, change this to poster. And I'm gonna remove the wanted posters part because that's something that typically contains text. And I'm gonna add another negative command in here as well, just to double down. So one last time, we will generate this here in ArtSpace. And I guess I can't use ChatGPT for it anymore, but we will try in Grok again. All right, so it's definitely struggling with removing the text. Normally, this isn't an issue. Uh, as you can see, like the vast majority of the images that I generate don't have any text in them at all. But I think it's just because I'm asking it to make specifically a poster that 
is obviously something that would typically include text. So I am gonna keep working on this. I'm gonna figure out exactly how to prevent these AI image generators from using text when you don't want them to. But overall, uh, these are the types of prompts that I use to generate these types of high quality images. So you can see in most cases, I'm not having any issues getting really high quality images that are exactly the kind of thing that I want to use in my thumbnails and on my blog and in other marketing materials. So remember, you can copy my ChatGPT marketing prompts with the link in the description, leave a like and a comment on this video, share it with someone who might find it helpful. And if there's any specific types of prompts that you would like to see me add to this list, just let me know. You can leave it in a comment on YouTube or you can shoot me an email. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video.